Hey guys, it's me Fox. Welcome into a part 8 of the Epic CNC upgrade where I'm gonna be installing rails and the ball screws onto my gantry and the Z. I'm gonna be adjusting and tuning um, and making stuff straight. So you're gonna see three days worth of work combined into 20 minutes. So now I'm gonna put the first rail in here. I thought I would have to cut them, but I don't have to. The assembly wasn't uh, as bad as I was uh, expecting. Maybe a center. Just undo that screw and lift it uh, up so it's in the center of the hole and tighten it up come on just fit okay so I'm gonna set my zero in here okay <clears throat> Loosen the screw and lift the rail to zero. Okay, precisely zero. You were not able to see it, but uh, don't worry, you're gonna see it in here. And now, uh, where did I put the screw? Oh, at the end. So I can go up to here and loosen this screw and move it up to zero. Okay, anyway, it ended up to be on five. Uh, so maybe the next bolt I'm gonna put somewhere in the middle. Okay. Lift it up to zero. Now. So here is two. So I have to loosen it up and move it higher. So it's past five, five microns. Close to ten. Ten. 10, 10, 0, plus, or minus actually, okay, how does it look in here, minus 10, 0, 0, plus, plus, plus 10, on the screw I have plus 10, so I have to lift it up. Okay, precisely zero. Minus ten, zero, plus, plus ten. Here is a zero and goes over. So I have to loosen the middle screw because I think there is some tension happening. As you saw, it dropped to zero. Zero, 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 kind of minus. So where might be attention now? I guess in this one. <laughs> it's freaking amazing. So you start with the very few screws spread over and you doing them up and, and loosening them up. The rail, usually it's quite straight. And when you're gonna start bolting one screw and you know bending it back and forth, back and forth, you're gonna put you know tremendous amount of load because whatever you bend here, like you bend up behind the screw, it will bend down, or at least it would like to. Um, and you're gonna have those zigzags, and you're gonna take 
tremendous amount of time to straighten it up and it never will be so it's better to do few tighten them up in close proximities to the carriage and then done them release some of them then done them up and then you're just gonna bolt more of them so what do I have here here I have minus two and on that one I have uh, plus 10 so I'm gonna undo that and lift it up a bit okay so it's zero plus 10 sorry minus 10 I'm gonna put another screw in this hole it still wants to go to minus go here which is unfortunately zero so I think I'm gonna undo this one because that one is under go to that and that one went down and now it went up hmm what do I have to do with this one push it down so maybe I have to loosen up the that one this up okay so can wait to push it up bang on zero and now it's ten what the hell zero here it goes up okay because I was pushing this one motherfucker so I have to loosen this up <coughs> and lift it up kind of uniformly and now move it up this one okay how is it looking here jesus now it's uh and up to two loosen it up so zero zero I'm gonna go maybe from this side so I'm not going against the dial indicator. Zero, 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 maybe plus two, plus two. Okay, so I have to loosen this one. Perfect. Zero, 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 zero. Zero, zero, zero. Awesome. Really freaking awesome. So now I'm gonna put more screws. I got that rail very close within I don't know a few microns anyway and when I put more of the screws that 
values that are going up and down. So it's possible that uh, the rail it's you know wobbly for one reason or the other. <sighs> so like, and you know the angle might be slightly off. That's a long distance, an angular uh, wobble might uh, actually register as a height. I think I'm done with that rail and I'm gonna put another one on the top and then um, the gantry and then when I have the two rails then I can you know fine-tune uh, the height because then it's the average between those two rails right um, so I'm not just uh, you know relying on one carriage so I'm gonna grab the other rail Okay, the ball screw goes uh, here. I got my screws. I'm gonna bolt one up. <laughs> uh, I haven't even like put those screws properly, but Jesus, that thing is solid. So now I'm gonna install a Z axis. But before I'll do that, I'm gonna put uh, two new dimium magnets on the each side, so the carriages won't fall down if they would uh, really like to. Yeah, that looks uh, spectacular. <laughs> Holy shit, I have to drill the hole on the top, I think. Yes, I have to. Oh, mambo. That machine is getting uh, big. Okay, next day I cut myself a skylight so I can put the uh, Z. I like when you know you made stuff and then you start assembling and everything fits perfectly. Oh, what a nice feeling! So now, now it's a bit rough. So here I have like you know, uh, what, four centimeters at the back, I think around four on the sides and here it's, uh, it's just touching. Uh, maybe I can show you. So that should be the reasonable end of travel. So 10 millimeters. So that should be fine because uh, on that section in here on the top, I want to keep my tools. I got used to it and I really like it. So I wanted to have as much of that space as possible. And the gantry travels, it moves, but it's not easy. Sorry for the mess, but you know, it is what it is at the moment. 
I bolted the Z axis to the rails. Um, I bolted the connection between the bolt screw and Z axis uh, pretty well in here. Uh, here it's still uh, floating. I haven't done the screws from there because uh, now I'm gonna be checking uh, if it's still uh, the same distance to the table and uh, so I kind of, mm, you know, I don't want to have that uh, angular reading uh, in it because it's a long distance to the bottom. So I just wanted to be sure that it's running, you know, straight. It doesn't, you know, wobble. So I'm going to do the check and I'm going to show you the dial indicator closely. Okay. Here is a, uh, I don't know, three microns. Back to zero. Here it goes up, so I'm gonna fix this one before I'm gonna attach rails. going down so I'm gonna be playing until it's uh, I don't know maybe within two microns or something now I should actually remove the z-axis and run parallel uh, measurement I'm trying you know to finish in this century so I think I just gonna loosen the screws so the carriages are more or less floating and I will be able to achieve you know something uh, quite similar So now I will have to start undoing the bolts and, you know, going just like I did with the z-axis until it's, it reads zero. Then it means there is no preload, uh, so they are not stretching and squeezing. And uh, the, the movement on the x-axis is smooth. Now maybe I'm going to turn on the time lapse so you can see how much time I'm spending doing that thing.
Now we're gonna lock the carriages. I forget to check uh, if it's uh, traveling straight down or I have to rotate the Z axis. Be back. Oh Lord. It's installed. I made it more or less square, but I think it's more than less. Uh, <laughs> to have the plate square on the edge, it's uh, really not important. It has to travel vertically as much as is possible. And that's it, really. Because the plate could be mounted on the angle, you're gonna mount the spindle and you're gonna adjust straightness of the spindle. If that thing travels straight down, that's the most important thing. In this build I spent maybe 5% of time on making parts for the CNC and then I spent 95% of time uh, adjusting it. So it's kind of easy to make the machine between like 10 and 20 microns. So yeah, that, that's really easy. Uh, when you try to go under 10 microns, holy Jesus, yeah, that's where the 95% of time comes. I don't think I'm gonna be making any more videos about, you know, adjusting it because it's just terribly boring and my brain just bleeds when I'm trying to edit it. That's why in the next video I want to show you the finished machine. I'm gonna show you around and inside and it's gonna be spectacular. So stay tuned, see you next time.